Hey, what's up, Fluff Bunnies? It's your girl, Fluffy, and I'm back with another video. But before we get started, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe at some point throughout this video. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when your girl decides to go live or drop another video. So, let's get into it. Yeah, get into it! So today in the celebrity tea, let's talk about it. First off, we on this curfew, right? Okay, but that's not why I'm really here. We are here to talk about Mogul, beauty cosmetic girl, like face of it right now, Kylie Jenner. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. So what do we need to know? Right now, Forbes magazine is declaring that the once was a billionaire last year is not quite the billionaire we thought she really is today what bro what are you talking about man so what happened forbes magazine basically said hey over time we've been looking at the tax returns that kylie has turned in in which she showed massive growth so at some point kylie jenner showed that she had well over 330 million dollars and she was just collecting in money and then not to top it off what declared her as an actual billionaire was the fact that she sold half of kylie cosmetics to a beauty giant called Cody that's C-O-T-Y right so because of that one deal Forbes basically said hey that's the biggest deal in the beauty industry we've ever seen anyone has ever seen so she's definitely got to be a billionaire however they didn't look at her tax returns good enough apparently so so what happened so from 2016 right after she left keeping up with the Kardashians she started her own cosmetic line right so that's when we saw the Kylie lip cosmetics coming out and boom they were selling out like that so apparently what happened here is that Cody has now started issuing out their tax returns so looking at Cody's tax returns and then looking at Kylie's tax returns some numbers are not adding up so Forbes did an investigation Forbes is basically saying that when Kylie said she made 330 million, she in fact didn't. She made like 302 million. So there's 30 million off the charts right there. Then the following year, she said that she shot up to 420 million, surpassing her previous 330 million. <laughs> and now they're basically looking at it and saying, "Well, Kylie, that 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 doesn't add up. That something's a little off here." So with that being said, Forbes went ahead and basically said, we believe that Kylie Jenner has given us either false tax returns or she's forged some numbers to make herself look like a billionaire. Now, here's the thing, though. They're not def they're not denying the fact that the girl has money. The thing is, is the girl has money and they're saying that she's a little under a billionaire. So she's not quite the billionaire yet. So what happened was we saw her deal put her at 1.2 billion when in fact, actually it really didn't. It only put our girl at a little under 900 million. So she's probably like at 899 point something. Either way it go, the girl got more money than me. Okay, the girl has more money than me. So why am I here to judge her? I'm not. In fact, I'm only here to school you that she's not quite yet a billionaire and Forbes has declared that she's not and they have taken their title back from her. So, you know, it's a big thing to be considered to be in the Forbes magazine. We've heard rappers over the years brag about wanting to be in the Forbes magazine because if you made it in the Forbes magazine or on that list that they compose every year, then you've made it right it's just like this thing that they have i don't know why it's such a big deal to be like hey i have this much money but i'm just saying kylie's doing really big things just recently she just spent in the last year she's probably spent somewhere over 130 million dollars she just bought a brand new jet that she has to she can't even fly it in normal uh strip landings because the jet is so large that it doesn't where you know normally where people fly their private jets it, that hers doesn't fit hers doesn't fit so she has to find alternative places to land her flight because she bought this humongous ass jet okay now we all know jet fuel then having the maintenance and the upkeep on the, the inside of the jet here's the thing about it what's beautiful about it is that she has to spend five million just to keep the upkeep 
on the jet. That's just the jet alone. Not to mention that homegirl just bought a brand new house right next door to her mom over in the city of Palm Springs. Not only has she done that, but she's also went ahead and purchased another vacant lot right next to her home that she already has in Hidden Hills. So your girl is doing big things with millions. I don't care what Forbes is talking about. Forbes is saying she ain't a billionaire. If you can make moves and spend $130 million a year and not flex about it and not be upset that you spend $130 million a year, baby, you rich, you rich, you rich, you rich. So regardless of what they're saying, regardless of what Cody is, is trying to say about our girl Kylie, let's just put it at this. The girl's got money and she's doing her own things and she did it better than her sisters did. <laughs> and she didn't have to sell her body for it. That's a whole nother story. We ain't coming for Kim. I love her too, but we ain't coming for her in this video. We not, okay? We not, we not, we not. But uh, yeah, Forbes is basically saying that our girl's not a billionaire yet. So I'm not sure if they'll ever consider her for the Forbes, you know, for the Forbes list again, because here's the thing. Kylie did stop responding to them. At one point, she was going back and forth with Forbes. She left a couple uh, disheartening messages. You know, she was like, I woke up and then I thought you guys were a reputable site. Now you're not. So she's kind of been talking smack about them. So with that being said, now that she's talking smack about Forbes, Forbes is saying, hey, you're a liar. I don't know if she'll ever make the Forbes list again, but at this point, do you really need it, Kylie? Do you need that validation from a magazine list to just say that you're rich? You don't, sis. You spent $130 million last year. Sis, keep balling, keep doing your thing, keep bossing in that part. Forbes who? Exactly, okay? Forbes who? <laughs> that part, sis. Go ahead, do your thug dizzle, but that's all we have for today's Celebrity Tea. So make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to turn on your post notifications that part.